Concerns of violence in places like Wasco have been worrying the community, especially within the past week. However, residents I spoke to earlier say it feels like just another day. When you hear about the shootings, it makes you a little scared to go out with your kids, even just to go get groceries. When we're out there, there's a little more anxiety. We just don't know where or what's going to happen next. It's a thought weighing heavy on the mind of Delano resident Nydia Hernandez. She has kids, and the thought of violence in and around her community raises safety concerns as a parent. Este. You know, you get more concerned about your kids, especially those of us who have teenagers. I think we're a little more worried about them being out in the streets, just being out. As a parent, you feel unsafe. Earlier this week, the Kern County Board of Supervisors approved an agreement with the Kern Law Enforcement Association to set aside up to $1 million for a housing allowance for deputy sheriffs. For deputies who are assigned and living in outlying area substations to uh, incentivize uh, staff to transfer there or, or develop connections to the communities that they work in. Those outlying areas substations include the Kern Valley, Rosamond, Ridgecrest, Mojave, Boron, and Fraser Park. 23 ABC asked the Kern County Sheriff's Office about housing allowances in the northern areas of Kern County that have faced the concerns of violence and they provided the statement, Quote, if we are able to attract and hire more applicants while providing incentives such as this for retention, it is the sheriff's goal to fully staff all areas to give the community the best public safety services possible, end quote. We stopped by several random locations in Wasco and Delano, but many people were uncomfortable speaking on camera about the gang violence. However, Juan Trujillo of McFarland told us in a statement how he thinks if kids stay out of gang activities, they should be fine. He says, quote, if they're not involved in it, why be scared, you know? Gang violence is not going to stop. It's been here since before I was born, and it's still going to be here no matter what, end quote. However, Hernandez would like to see more from law enforcement when it comes to patrolling. Mm, pues, uh, well, at times I don't feel there's enough. I mean, I do see them patrolling, but when a crime is happening, we don't see their presence quickly enough. In Kern County, Ava Kirshner, 23ABC News, connecting you. Oh,